Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages. I am Sean Anderson, Most Valuable Podcast, and I'm back with my boy, Ricky Widmer. It's been so long. What, week 17 or playoffs? I think it's been a long it time. playoffs. A long time since we've or done Or if you want to count the NBA playoffs. Uh, yeah. together. I mean, it's been a long time since we were fighting about the Cleveland Cavaliers and Golden State Warriors. Glad we're not back there. Uh, but we are going to give the keys for the Vikings and Panthers playing at noon p.m. Central Time on the Fox. Who you got? And uh, what are your keys and predictions for both teams? Well, and I know you didn't ask, Sean, but I'm going to answer it anyways. Uh, yeah. It feels great being 2-0 and and atop the NFC North. King of the North! King of the North! That's how I'm uh, feeling right now. Thanks for asking. But I don't care. We got the Vikings and the Panthers and... I'm scared, guys. You should not, be. Not like scared, scared, but I'm not as confident right as I was. And because here's the thing, I'm gonna speak to my Viking nation out there, Skull Vikes. Um, this isn't like when we played the Packers. I was like, yeah, we can beat them. We're opening a new stadium. We always play. We, we're playing up with Mike Zimmer when we play the Packers. Just look at the game in Lambeau last year, but. This Panther team is good. Which Panther team are we going to get, though? It all runs through to me with the Panthers. The key to the game is Cam Newton. He's the one that's going to make this team go. He's got his... What do you mean by what Panther team are we going to get here? Well, either are we going to get the one that misses field goals against the Broncos or the one that... Played really well against the 49ers. Hey, teams are making mistakes. I haven't seen I haven't seen a bad side of the Panthers, though. I mean, obviously they were going up against great, great defense, but you're doing a good job. Keep going. Okay, okay. It's all going to come down to Cam Newton, though. He's got a nice, shiny new toy back from injury in Kelvin Benjamin. He's on my fantasy team, so I, that adds complications Cam's on to my, this game. Cam's on my fantasy team, yeah, too, this, so I'm rooting for him. This makes complications to my team, my game, but... You want to work a trade out for Benjamin? Nah, I'm good. Okay. Um, it's all going to come down though to try, Cam guys. Newton. When doesn't it? But for the Vikings, Sam Bradford looked good. He looked good, and he looked like I was like, "Shit, son, we might have a quarterback here. I might not be needing Teddy this year." Teddy, I love you. I Teddy's not coming back. I can't shut anyways. up. I can't wait for you to come back. <laughs> I'm speaking to Teddy. Okay. 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 Teddy, big, big fan too. Teddy, I'm, Teddy's a big fan. Teddy, I'm sorry. Don't. Don't mind him. He's a Bears fan. He doesn't know what two and zero feels like. But it, oh, it's got it's got to come down to Sam Bradford. Can he mm-hmm. replicate the new stadium? And I got to throw in here before I throw out a prediction and a score. I absolutely love what Alex Boone said after the game, where he's like, "You know what? Stadium's great. I love that the fans are getting loud, but mm-hmm. can they shut the fuck up? Like, and and I totally agree with them, guys." I know this game's in Carolina, but this is kind of like when we come back home, we got to be like Peyton Manning. When that offense is on the field, you got to hear that Omaha call. We got to hear that call, and that's why they had so many false starts. So I know we're excited, but we'll get it good for the next home game. I'm going to go in this one Vikings by three. Shocker. Vikings Shocker by three. Shocker here. By three. And apparently, Ricky wants three. Sam Bradford to take up some architect, recreate the whole stadium. Because that's what you said. Not Sam Bradford. You mean the performance that he had in the new stadium. Yes. yes there you go. Yes, in uh, the new stadium. And real quick, you, we, I know we had a, a talk on the onside kick when you had me on graciously. Thank you very mm-hmm. much. But Sam Bradford, I'm not surprised he had that great of a game because, you, again, you said a good this, is, this is the best team that he's been on. Mm-hmm. And the real worry that I had was if he can stay healthy. And obviously, you're having more problems at running back right now with staying healthy. AP, you please too, come back. You he's on your fantasy team. Oh, God, I need him back. <laughs> I need him back. I'm you looking need at, all three of those points from me. Yeah, I, I need more than that. I need more. <laughs> Maybe six. I'm trying to pick up McKinnon. So I'm in desperate need here. But that's going to wrap up this video. Tell us what you think of Ricky's prediction down below. I know some Panthers fans are going to say he's a homer. He is a homer. Yeah. Too bad. Deal with it. Anyways, tell us what you think of your Panthers and what they're going to do down below. If you're a Vikings fan, tell us what you think of Ricky's prediction down below. I know Trill Cosby's a Vikings fan and will be telling us his prediction down below as well. Skull, baby. It's going to wrap up this video, and we will see you next time.